Okay, hello guys. It again with Ombop. Okay, this time <coughs> we have another Xiaomi Redmi 9A. Okay, Xiaomi Pond. Okay, the first video uh, I have show you how to rotate it using the <coughs> patch boot. Okay, this time we're gonna put this pond using the TRP. Okay. Okay, let's start. Let's start the video. Oops. Okay, all the files and the step are included in my blog. You can check in the description box. <clears throat> okay, let's switch the screen. Go to the settings, and as you can see, I have <clears throat> login into my account and now it has been seven days okay so we can unlock this one <clears throat> okay as usual you must insert your new account here you put in additional, additional settings okay and you have to <clears throat> click this one okay at account and device after that back to the is cable and start the un unlock account and you have to wait to seven days after that you can unlock the phone <coughs> okay you can check the <coughs> video how to unlock Xiaomi phone on my other video okay. let's just get started okay now let's turn off the phone Okay, uh, as you can see in here, I have already <coughs> logged into my main account in the computer. Okay, now we need to go to the password. As usual, pressing the from and down uh, power button. Okay, so you see this funny picture, it means that you are in the remote. Uh, sorry, in the Facebook mode. Okay, just plug in the cable. <clears throat> okay, now you see. <clears throat> you can see the screen that the phone is connected. Okay. Hit to hit this unlock button and wait for five seconds. Hit unlock anyway and wait <clears throat> for another five seconds. Okay. So you only want to confirm that if we unlock, we will always see that. Okay, so <clears throat> just make sure you have uh, backup all, all of your data. Okay, nice. Now it's unlocked successfully. Okay, now. We are now going to see that it will erase the internal storage. Okay. But we don't want to wait to the point to boot it in the Android home screen, so we will we'll force <coughs> we will force the point to boot again into the export mode. Okay. Uh, just press the phone down and the power button again. Okay. <coughs> now we in the press boot mode again. Okay. Uh, now let's buy some file. Okay. You are going to press the files in the press boot mode. Okay. Now open the command from here. And let's open the File Explorer. Okay, <clears throat> you need to press the file. Okay, using the password command. Okay, the first one is we're gonna flash the recovery, and the second one is <coughs> we're gonna flash the VB meta. Okay, uh, the recovery file is the one that I'm going to include 
the link in my blog okay please check the description box and the tb meta is the one that you use for your firmware okay so if you using the global please use the global one yeah i will show you <coughs> okay first let's press the custom recovery as usual type press put space press space recovery okay <coughs> then we can drag this file okay the pbrp okay thanks for the file whoever that like the file <laughs> Okay, now it's done. And the second one is the PB Meta format. Okay, let me show you. I extract the format in here. Okay, yeah, okay, as you can see, I'm using the Indonesian format. Okay, the 12.0.2. Let me download from the Xiaomi firmware and let's open the file. Okay, after the extract the file, you will see this one. Just open it and go to the image. Okay, and you have and you will see lots, uh, lots of file. Okay, we only need this file. Okay, so type the comment. We always can copy and paste. Okay. Click copy and paste it here. Okay, give it give it a space. Then click and drag the file. Okay. <coughs> press boot space dash dash disable dash replication space plus space meta. Click and drag the big meta. Okay. Then hit enter. Okay. Let's close this one then after that we go to the recovery mode okay type press boot space reboot press boot space reboot after you hit the enter button press the volume up okay enter volume up Okay, so pressing the plumb up button until you see the custom recovery. <coughs> okay, now we are in the remote. Okay, let's open file manager again. Okay, now we want to copy the images okay this one okay just for your information after you unlock the bootloader you do not need to format the data or or wipe the cache and without pick okay make sure that <coughs> after you unlock you go to the password directly okay let's copy this one and let's paste it in the internal storage okay this one and let's paste it in here <coughs> okay i'll close this one go to the point okay uh we do not need to wipe the data okay format on graphic no need. Let's go directly to the install. Okay, <coughs> and select the images. Okay, and check go to option and this swipe it. sorry just for your information i've got this video okay so i've uh boot into the android and then go to the password again 
Okay. Let's see them. Uh, reboot here and select system. Okay. Here you can always, <coughs> after you unlock the bootloader, you always can boot to the Android. After that, go, uh, sorry, after you unlock the bootloader, you can wait for the phone to boot to the Android home screen. And then go to the fast boot mode. Or after you unlock, you can directly go to the fast boot. Okay, now we are in the home screen. Okay, let's enable the transfer file again. Change USB charging to file transfer. And let's copy some file. <coughs> okay, let's copy the Maze Manager. And paste it to the internal storage okay <clears throat> and let's copy the root checker this one this one paste it <clears throat> okay okay Okay, let's check the file. Okay, we have nice manager here. Uh, usually, I uh, remove this one, install, and let's copy the new one. Okay, open the file manager. Okay, and let's install this file manager. Uh, the as for setting, okay, let's click settings, allow from the source, okay, and hit back. Wait five seconds, just click accept. Okay. <clears throat> okay, nice. Just click allow. Okay, go back. And the second one is the checker. Okay, let's install it. Okay, the checker is not mandatory, just for fun. Okay, let's close this one. And open the maze. Okay, as you can see. It says that we have successfully installed uh, minus 21.4 okay. uh, The Midis Manager is not the latest, but we can always update it. Okay, and then let's open the checker. Let's check. Okay, it will ask for request. Let's print it. Okay, nice. As you can see. It says that your dandelion is rooted uh, as Android 10. Okay, dandelion. This means that it's a code name for Redmi 9A. Okay, that's all, guys. Uh, this is a tutorial on how about to <coughs> install Magis using the custom recovery. Okay, on Redmi 9A. Thank you. I hope you like my video. If you like, please hit the like button. I have a lot of video about putting and custom bomb. Please check my other video. And also, if you subscribe, you will get notice when I'm uploading on any video. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys. Have a nice day. Uh, Assalamualaikum.